Hello everyone, uh, in this video we are going to test MacBook M3 and this time we are going to show you guys more detail about the hardware and about the price and after that we are going to follow the same steps that we followed last time so it's going to be a clean build and after that it's going to be Android Studio Index time then running the emulator and running the application on emulator and after all of these, there's going to be a conclusion, I mean, according to the, the prices and the hardware, which would be better to buy. That's it. Let's go and start. Just let me tell you something. Uh, so this is my laptop. I mean, this is my, actually, uh, the desktop setup. So I didn't remove them. So they're just here. And this is the Mac that I'm going to test. So this is the one that we tested last time. So MacBook Pro with 11 uh, CPU uh, cores and it was with 18 gigabyte of memory and the price is 2500 so this one is MacBook uh, M3 but it is not Pro that's the difference and as you can see so this one has 11 cores and the, uh, it has uh, 24 gigabyte of memory, uh, 512 gigabyte uh, of uh, SSD, and the price is only, I mean, comparatively uh, cheaper than the other one, which is 2000 only. And this is the difference, and this is the price. Let's go and start the test. So for the first step, we are going to clean and build the project, and this time we are going to see the uh, how much of CPU is going to be used, and and we're gonna look have a look into the memory usage also. I'm going to move them in a way that you guys be able to see. Yes, so I'm going to run the first one. Let's see how much it's gonna take. I'm using time command to see the this command that I ran, how long it's going to take, so it's going to give us better timing. So already 10 gigabyte of memory has been used. As you can see, uh, I'm looking into this CPU cores. So interesting, not many of them have been used up somehow. I don't know really, but not many of them has been used. Here we can see how many of the uh, CPU cores are involved in this process. And also here we have 17, 16 gigabyte of memory has been used. This is very interesting. We're going to almost take all the memory that system has. And let me open the blog post that I have published about the previous result. So last time, first step uh, for the first scenario, clean build the project. MacBook Pro 2021, four minutes. MacBook Pro 2023, three minutes and 29 seconds took. So let's wait and see how long it's going to take for MacBook uh, 2023. As you can see, all the cores are involved and it has finished about 3 minutes and 14 
seconds. Interesting. Let me take it. A screenshot for later a bit faster than uh MacBook Pro 2023 somehow I'm not sure what can be the cause but it is a bit faster the next step is opening the Android studio for that I'm going to use my watch as a timer so the timer has started so this one for the opening Android Studio and time to index files for MacBook Pro 2021, it was 25 seconds. For MacBook Pro 2023, it was 22 seconds. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Now it has finished. About 25 seconds. Now let's go to the third step, which would be opening the uh, emulator that we have. Okay. So this one for the previous uh, MacBook Pro 2021 and then uh, 45 seconds, MacBook Pro 2023, 43 seconds, almost at the same time. So here we are waiting. Forty three seconds, same result we have for the third step. Let's go to the step four, which is the most important step. And at the same time, you guys can see the result of memory. 18 gigabyte of memory has been used from 24 gigabyte of memory. I'm going to run the application on emulator. For this one, we don't need timer because and the studio will show us the result, the time actually. Let's go. So for previous one, MacBook Pro 2023 took four minutes and 29 seconds. For MacBook Pro 2021, it took only two minutes and 20 seconds. The result is very, very interesting. So let's see how it is performing. So 19 gigabyte of memory has been used, which is a lot. And let's just move it here. Move this here. We can also see here, and this series the second one after the uh, Viscon record. So there is a one change here. This time I'm I'm recording the screen also. So maybe I mean it changed the result, but so far the result is literally the same as MacBook Pro twenty three with one exception, which was build time, which was uh, which which is a bit faster. So for the fourth scenario, it's going to be very interesting to see the result. 20 gigabyte of memory has been used. Still 20 gigabyte has been used, nothing else has changed. And as you can see again, see all the cores are involved and, and they're like a, almost hundred percent of the cores are trying to process 
this task, let's see how would be the result. So I'm hopeful that it's going to be better than uh, MacBook Pro 2021 because it is M3 chip and that one was M1 chip and I hope it would be better than MacBook Pro 2023 because of the memory. Let's see. Twenty one gigabyte of memory is used. It is finished three minutes and seventeen seconds. Three minutes and three seventeen. So, it is something between MacBook Pro 2021 and MacBook Pro 2023. The memory is 21 gigabyte. I mean, it has been used up the memory for 21 gigabyte, but I'm a bit concerned. Uh, somehow, MacBook Pro 2021 much faster. So, uh, as you can see, all the CPU, all the cores that we have has been used up. So, I'm thinking Really, the memory is the most important part of this Android development. So this is the result. And as you can see, MacBook Pro 2021 has won so far. And let's see. And for the next video, I'm trying to get a MacBook uh, Air to see how it's going to perform with MacBook Air. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.